Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Now I know I told you in my last video that I had purchased a new Louis Vuitton bag to replace my favorite new model in the bicolor Empreinte that I sold. And I wanted to let you know that the favorite has made it to her final destination and is being loved and worn by one of you out there. So I am excited that she has found her new home. Now the Louis Vuitton bag that I purchased, it actually has to go through a physical authentication before it is sent to me. And so I am awaiting that. I'm thinking towards the end of next week, but I did get a little something something that I can show you today. And so that's why this video is going to be kind of a small Louis Vuitton unboxing. And I was gonna wait and show it to you all at once, but I I don't know, I just, I don't wanna wait. So let's go ahead and get into this box. I found this item on eBay from a seller who resides in Japan. And I've purchased from this seller now multiple times. Based on my personal experience, I would recommend them. I have had every item I've purchased authenticated and they've all come back authentic. Now this item, I don't think I'm going to authenticate it because I do trust the seller at this point. I think this is my third purchase from them. And also this item was ranked a 7.5 out of 10 by them. And the pictures that they took were so incredible. They showed things that I cannot even see. I can't see these things that are wrong with this item. And so, yes, I've already looked at it, but we're unboxing it. So it is an unboxing. Doesn't mean it's my first unboxing. It's your first unboxing. So right away, I noticed the Louis Vuitton dust bag. And so this is almost a full set, I guess you could say. It doesn't come with a receipt, but... One thing I know about Louis Vuitton dust bags is that the edge stitching on the fakes, it can be quite apparent. I've seen some dust bags on eBay and other platforms where the edge stitching just does not look right. And this one immediately looked fine to me. I am no expert, but the feel of it also feels really nice. So let's go ahead and get into this and then I will explain to you why I just had to jump on it. All right. So I think now I'm probably, I've already forgotten the name of it. I think it's the New Wave Charm. And that's interesting because the New Wave is part of the name of two of the handbags in my current collection. And the first of those is this one, which is the New Wave chain bag in the MM size. And this bag's about 10 inches across, so about the same width across as the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse for frame of reference, also about the same as the Speedy 25. Now, depth-wise, also probably pretty similar to the Pochette Matisse, but pretty different from the Speedy 25. And capacity-wise, this would be less than both of those particular bags that I'm referencing. Now, I do have two of these. This is the first one I got and it's in Rose Ballerine and then I also have it in Navy. And the Rose Ballerine is lined in a beautiful pale pink micro suede and it is extremely soft and luxurious. And I do like that the flap itself is leather. My Georges BB that I showed you in my last video, that bag has the micro suede on the inside of the flap. And I don't like that because if your fingers are a little dirty, you can't wipe it off. The micro suede, you can kind of spot clean it a little bit, but I don't want to have to do that on the inside of the flap. So I am actually considering selling this bag. When I was in Europe, I saw the Pochette Matisse East West in the pink opal color. And I thought, you know, if I could buy this bag and then sell this bag, I think it would kind of be a match made in heaven for me. This particular bag, I really like it. I think it's beautiful and I'm not gonna sell it at a big loss or anything. But that said, I did get it for a good deal. The reason I might consider selling it has nothing to do with the leather the look of it. My two hiccups with this bag are that when I load it up, I have to put most of my heavy items in the back or it tends to tip forward. And also the magnet, while it's pretty strong when it's empty, 
it tends to pop open if you have too much in the front behind the magnet. So I found that I can put like a long flat wallet in the front or a long flat pouch and then two key clays or card holders behind it and then i need to put all of the bigger things back here in the back and as long as i do that this bag works great so that is the reason why if i could sell this one that i would consider doing so it's very comfortable on the shoulder it has a long leather brake and you can kind of overlap the chain on top of that brake and keep the chain off your shoulder to some extent but the long leather brake makes it so where it's extremely comfortable crossbody because you can adjust it exactly where you want where it positions itself over your shoulder collarbone area and you can have the bag on the front of your body or on the side this is the new wave chain bag in the mm size and this is the new wave charm and the charm has three different colors of metal, and that's why I had to jump on it. It has the pink gold right here, and then the L and the V are in both silver and yellow gold. And I love jumping on anything that has a little bit of rose gold in it because I do love to wear rose gold jewelry. I am wearing a diamond ring right now that is a combination of white gold and rose gold. I got this from Newton's Jewelers. I love them. They are online and I have a discount code if you want to order online or contact them directly. I've also got my two rose gold bracelets here. I think I got both of these from Etsy at some point in the past. And then I have a Sophia Fiori diamond ring and then the stone in the center, again, I got that from Newton's Jewelers as well. Along the path, I have picked up two other charms that have a little bit of rose gold in them. And one of them I have on my Speedy B20. You can see there in the center, the flower with the red glass has rose gold around it. And so that is the first rose gold bit that I have on a bag. And then the second is this one. This is my Galet Capucines in the BB size. And this bag didn't come with any special accessories. It's sort of their entry level Capucines without any additional bling bling or anything like that. If I were to go into the store and buy a Capucines, I probably wouldn't buy this base model because for a couple hundred dollars more, you can get one of the really special ones but I did get this for a really good deal secondhand in amazing condition. And if you look at this chain, it was a way for me to accessorize it and make it special all on my own. And it was a chain, I believe, that came from a Capucines. I picked it up from a gal on a Facebook group for Louis Vuitton, and I did have it authenticated. But you can see that the flowers are a combination of rose gold and gunmetal. And so I have three metal tones on this accessory as well. So the bag that's on its way to me, it is actually going to look really good, I think, with this particular charm. And I can't wait to try it out. We'll have to do that on a video together. And I also think that rose gold looks particularly nice with Damier Aben canvas because the lighter colored checkers have that rosy hue to them. So if I don't like it on this bag that I have coming, then this bag may be the new home for this charm. And I'll just do a whole merry-go-round with my charms until they all land in a somewhat permanent location because I do tend to like to keep them on the bags and let them live on just one bag and not get moved around a bunch. I just enjoy looking at them on display. Once they find a home, they tend to stay there for at least a while. So I'm kind of giving Newtons a plug today. I've worked with jewelers all over the country, had custom work done, with jewelers all over the country, but Newton's has a special place in my heart. And they also did this particular necklace here. And what we did is we found a pre-made pendant. And this particular pendant was meant to have a stone set in the center with diamonds around it. And I wanted an open 
teardrop to kind of coordinate with this ring. And so what we did is we removed the prongs for that center stone, or they did based on my suggestion. And then they graduated the stones and got them bigger as they went down. And I think that the end look is fabulous. So if you have something in mind, you can send them pictures, work with them through text messaging and get something custom done. You don't have to just pick something off the website. So this is my new little beauty or little cutie. It is a little smaller than I thought it would be. I saw it on the Louis Vuitton website, it's still there. And I think I got this for around 305 after taxes and everything, which is a really good deal. I tend to try to buy charms on the pre-love market if I can find them in amazing condition because they don't hold their value very well at all. And so if you do come across a seller on eBay or Facebook that you trust, it is a great way to pick up some decoration for your handbags at what is somewhat of a good value in the Louis Vuitton scheme of things or world anyway. Since I am wearing my rose gold jewelry today, I am wearing a pink bag because like I said, I have a few rose gold charms, but there's just no bags that I have ever found that have rose gold hardware. So I do mix my metals and that is part of the reason why my rings have both white gold and rose gold on them because then I feel like I can coordinate with my handbags even better. But I am using this gorgeous powder rose Saint Laurent collage bag in the medium size and I have tied it into my shirt and I also tied it into yesterday's shirt as well because it's sticking around for a couple days with me. This bag does kind of the same thing as that new wave bag. If you pack it too full in the front it tends to tip forward so I do find I need to put the chain behind it so that I can prevent it from flipping forward and falling flat on its face when I set it on the counter. But even though it does that, I still love it. I think that these are great bags and you can actually pick up some of the Saint Laurent bags right now at fabulous prices from some of the department stores. So if you're in the market for one, I know that Nordstrom is having an amazing sale right now. And like, for example, you can get a Navy small Lulu for around $1,800 if I remember correctly. And I believe I saw a collage bag in some sort of black fabric for closer down to $1,000. There have been some amazing price points on some of the Saint Laurent bags. A lot of them tend to be fabric, but not all of them. And I tend to get my sales associate recommendations from Facebook groups, and then I'll go find those sales associates on Instagram and ask them to send me the list of all the sale items because you can't just go on the websites for the department stores to find those deals. But I am confident that Nordstrom is not the only one running these amazing sales. So if you're in the market, I would say now would be a good time to look and to reach out to some of these stores. You can always call the department store if you know that it has a Saint Laurent boutique inside and ask to be transferred to that department and then establish a relationship with a sales associate that way as well. Since I haven't purchased anything myself from one of these department stores in a very long time, I don't really want to share any names because I don't want to recommend someone that I haven't worked with directly, but it's a pretty safe bet that if you call the department store itself and ask to be transferred to that department, that then you can get hooked up with a sales associate that way. So I think that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this little unboxing and chit chat about handbags, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.